Welcome back to Uncork with Shannon and Tara. Today we are trying this brand new wine. It has taken me forever <laughs> to find. It came out December 14th, 2020, and you really can't find it in stores. No, it's elusive. It's the mystical, the magical Rosé Prosecco. <laughs> Yeah, Shannon has been a champ looking for this, and every store I've gone in has basically looked at me like I have three heads when I yes. ask. Yeah, I asked if they had uh, Prosecco Rosé, and they're like, no, we have normal Prosecco. And even when you go on Prosecco's um, website, there's a tracker where you can find uh, where the wine is located, but it's only the normal Prosecco, mm -hmm. not the Prosecco Rosé. So I did find it on wine.com. And I mean, it wasn't too expensive. And then they should give you like, hmm. where you can sign up with the app and then get 10% off and 20% off. Okay. And because we drink a lot of wine, this is gonna be <laughs> helpful for later on. We try to drink, we try to drink wine you can find, but mm -hmm. it's nice to try the ones that you can't necessarily find in the store too. Yeah, that's so true. And just wanted, this is our favorite okay. Prosecco. Oh. <laughs> So we definitely, the second we heard about it, we wanted to find out. Yes. Try it first. And Lamarca just makes the best Prosecco. Very I mean, good. the best affordable. I mean, I've seen mm -hmm. $1,000 Proseccos and I can't imagine. <laughs> I do want to kind of try it, but I am a huge fan of Lamarca. Yes. And I mean, it's already pretty in your glass. Yeah. It's like this nice, bright... Rose, rose gold color almost. Yeah, too. I think rose gold is the perfect because oh. it's not really blush, it's more like rose gold. Yeah. You can see it. It's so pretty. And the bubble structure is good. You got nice bubble structure that are up around the glass, so that means that that's good. Let's see. What does this say? It so smells good. So, Prosecco, if you ever see a bottle of Prosecco on it that is from Italy, Prosecco region of Italy. Um, sparkles with lively effervescence. So glad Ooh. I nailed that word. <laughs> a bouquet of aromas includes white flowers, pear, and peach with notes of fresh strawberry and cherry. Hmm. Okay. 11% alcohol. It's all that. Maybe the strawberries I smell? Whoa, yeah. Definitely. Did you say melon? Mmm, flowers. Flowers? I'm only, get, I'm only getting like the strawberry. Mm hmm. There's a little bit of flower. I don't get the cherry though. No, I'm not getting the cherry. Hmm. I'm so excited. I'm so excited too. <laughs> Very good. Yes. Yes. I get cherry in the taste. I don't know. It's just so <laughs> exciting. It tastes so good. I don't know what I tasted. <laughs> A subtle, subtle cherry. Yeah. Oh. It's dry. I like Prosecco that is dry and crisp. Yeah. This is definitely both. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not sweet, so if you're a sweet wine drinker, I mean, I feel like there's, like, stages where you go through sweet and then dry. <laughs> yep. Um, I'm not sure that someone would like this if they're very sweet. Yeah. If it's not, it's not sweet. It's very dry. I think on the bottle it actually said extra dry. Oh, <laughs> I, I'm always a fan of dry. Yeah, dry and crisp mm -hmm. is just, like, to me, it's what I, like, gravitate towards. Yeah, that's know? what I crave. And Paul and I were talking about this last night, actually, like, how, like, the evol in, in evolvement of, like, wine tasting and what I now would pick as, like, my favorite. Mm -hmm. Because... I was like, yeah, when I was 21 and I didn't know what oh wine is, I was like, pink Moscato yes. only. <laughs> <laughs> it was always pink Moscato. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. That was it. And then I went to a wine tasting and I tried white wine. And I was like, I like sweet whites only. Um, couldn't stand the reds. Sweet mm -hmm. whites only. Couldn't do dry. Only sweet. Um, so focused. And then now I'm like, the sweet is too much for me. Yeah, and now I'm just like right across the spectrum. Give it to give it all. <laughs> so if you had pink Moscato right now, it would be yeah. <laughs> it's pretty accurate. I think I drank it to the point where like 
my, like it came up to like my eyes were floating in pink Moscato <laughs> and now I can't drink anymore. <laughs> Yeah, no. We tried drinking pink Moscato over Christmas time. Mm. Oh, I couldn't do it and Andrew couldn't do it. And he's still a sweet wine drinker. I just think that's like the like starter the wine. The gateway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this is amazing. Yeah. I, this fulfills all of my rosé prosecco dreams. Yeah, we had very high expectations <laughs> for this wine. Um, so I'm really glad it met my expectations. Mm -hmm. And it's not expensive at all. It's $17.99 for a bottle. The only problem was because I guess it's so new, you can't find it in stores. So I had to order it online.com, like I said. And the shipping was $16.80. So that's like basically another mm -hmm. bottle you could have gotten. And then sales tax was, was like around like $3.24. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's not... I mean, we've had worse shipping costs. Yes, yeah, we have. But I'd rather get two bottles versus one, which I did end up buying two bottles oh, for 35 <laughs> But, I mean, I just kind of hope that this comes into stores near us so then we can just, like, grab to, like, go to the liquor store and grab it. Yeah, I wonder if they're doing it as, like, a small release online and then they'll see if, like, the demand is there. I don't know, because they said it is in stores. Where? I don't know. <laughs> I think Maryland needs to get on top of this because I've gone to a couple of them and they're just, like... We didn't even know this existed yet. I bet that little shop on Columbia. Oh, yes. <laughs> that place is a gem. They always have like the most like random mm -hmm. wines that we're always looking mm -hmm. for. They have Snoop Dogg usually. Yeah, we might need to <laughs> go there and just check. Cause yeah, I mean, it's inexpensive. I think, what is Prosecco usually? Around like 15? Yeah. And LaMarca's always been affordable. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, that's pretty affordable. Maybe he can order it for us, Shannon. Oh, my God. He, like, he's a sweetheart. He literally opened the liquor store for me five minutes ago. Yeah, really. <laughs> he's such a great guy. Yeah. <laughs> and I just think their, like, bottle is always uh, just so gorgeous. Yeah. We went to a LaMarca conference last October. Mm -hmm. And it just everything about it. Like, we want to go to wine in person in California one day because it's just so gorgeous. Yeah. And just the theme. And their, like, branding and marketing, everything is perfect. Yeah. La Marca just gets, like, tens across the board yes. <laughs> with their wine, with everything. It's amazing. So, if you like rose and you like sparkling, go on wine.com and order it. Like, yes. it's worth it. Get two. Yeah, get two. I'm glad that we get to share one and then I have one for later. Yeah, so. save that. I know. <laughs> oh. oh, well, thank you for joining us. Please like and share and comment and tell us what other rare wines you would like us to find. We'll yes. try our best. <laughs> um, we like the little hunts. Yeah, it's cool. it took us two months to find this, so <laughs> we got this. But thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.